Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? It's your man Tony Brown, BME presents. Welcome to a new episode. Tonight, I got a hot one for you. I got two independent journalists who do a lot of investigative reporting coming through. One has a lot of Facebook followers and one other one has a new show on Sky 4. I'm talking about Rodeo Live and Miss Onyx Hicks of the Onyx Effect. Plus, I got my man BU coming through, independent artist from P-Town coming through with his crew, the Hush Money Associates. So you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go get you some popcorn, and we'll be back after this. It's BME Presents. Yeah. I'd like to uh, thank uh. you for your input. Listen, it's election time again. Y'all want results in our city? We need Paul to win. He's the man for the job, plus the man really cares. Yeah. Paul gonna take action, vote the man in the chair. Our city has problems, and Paul's gonna solve them. Schools need no equipment, and Paul's gonna fix it. Educational programs for the kids, changing your neighborhood, making it safe where you live. Yeah. More revenue to the city, you can bet Paul gonna do it. Paul's gonna be dark for a while, he gonna bring light to it. The man we got now. Now, soul is a dream. Remove yourself from the throne and let Paul do his thing. Everything that's wrong, he gon' make it right. To make our city better, every day he gon' fight. Like I said before, the man really cares. November third, vote Paul, battle for mayor. Hey people, vote Paul for mayor. Hey people, vote Paul for mayor. People, people, vote Paul for mayor. People, let's go. November 3rd, vote Paul battle for mayor. November 3rd, vote Paul battle for mayor. This song was paid for and authorized by Paul J. Battle. Hi, welcome back to BME Presents. It's your man, Tony Brown, and I'm here with one of the most infamous reporters on Facebook, on social media, Miss Rhoda Young Live. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Thank you for coming to our set. Thank you. Today, the way you got about coming here was kind of peculiar, <laughs> but it's all good. Tell people a little bit about your platform and what you do, what you what you do as a as an independent journalist. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm Rhoda Young Live. I'm the most famous news reporter in the 757. Everybody know that across the board. Um, my job is to bring awareness to the community, the black community or the low income community. Color is not an issue. Remember, most of the times when you have been judged, you've been judged by your income. If you don't make a lot of money, then you are black. I want you to understand that. Even if your skin is white and you ain't making a lot of money, they consider you're black. So what I, my goal is to make sure people in my community, my peers, have an outlet, a voice, and their stories get heard. How long have you been reporting? How long have you been doing your type of investigation, investigative journalism? been doing about three years. Um, I went famous on a house fire one time and it blew up from there. You were famous on a what, pardon me? A house fire. On a house fire? Yeah. Okay, reporting yeah. on the scene of the house fire. Yeah, I was in Norfolk, Virginia, and okay. I was riding down the interstate with my husband and I seen black smoke. And I asked my slave, he, he's a fire buff. I'm like, what color is um, a fire once you put water on it? He said, gray. I was like, well, that's a bit fire because it's black. And we, <laughs> we was like chasing down the smoke and we get off the interstate and we found the house fire. That's cool. And then, and then, so that that was the video that kind of like was your catalyst that blew you up off that. That was it, right there. I was not saying nothing correct. Every word I was saying was wrong, and people thought it was the funniest video in the world because I was not pronouncing my words right. However, I did solve the crime. You solved. You solved it. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I, I I've seen you on a, on social media reporting on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like the latest thing I seen you reporting on was some um, debacle at a church in Norfolk. And I, I saw the feedback and saw um, all the things that was going on. What is your biggest story? In your opinion, what's the biggest story that you've reported on? Um, the biggest story I reported on would be the house fire. Um, it got over all the 5 million views. Uh, wow. It took me to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I was um, on Tosh.0 um, in Hollywood. Um, I was on every radio station throughout the country. Um, I was paid from different countries to use my content. So I would consider the house fire. So, so, so I, I haven't seen that video, and we're gonna see if we could dig it up to show you a little clip of it. If it's already, it's it's with, cool. with Turn it out the way. Hey, look, this is Rhoda Young. I'm going live. I'm going live right here on the fire scene right here. The fire truck right behind me. We're going. Live. We're live. We're live. We're going live. We're on the scene. 
rid of this bitch. Oh, my camera won't turn. Attention, Wavy News. This is Vilda Y'all reporting live. I'm reporting live. I'm a volunteer. Wavy TV 10 is not on the scene, but Vilda Y'all is on the scene. Right now, we're off of Ruthven and another street off of Little Creek Road, Tubman Boulevard, with a house fire. The house fire is in full active duty right now. Wavy News 10, please tune in. Is that your house? Which one? That's your house. Oh, God bless you. Huh? Oh, it was. I, my house caught a fire. I need a beer too because your nerves be bad. Then let me ask you this: How did it catch on fire? Was you home? This is Rodney Young reporting live. This guy right here, it is his house that is burning down. He do not know how the house caught a fire, but he was coming from the store with a six pack of red, blue, and white ribbon beer. So we oh, PBR. Oh, your hair burnt! His hair burnt! <laughs> oh, his face burnt! So you was really close to the fire? Yes. Yeah, okay, no, no, get your hair. Don't hit me now. Don't hit me. Okay, I will, baby. But don't hit me. Because I'll fight back. I love you. I love you. Give me something, baby. I love you. High five. High five. Okay, high five. But you burnt! His hair burnt! Hi, this is Rhoda Young, reporting live. I just found out what happened with the house fire. The owner of the house was upstairs when the fire started. He was upstairs when the fire started, and the fire started upstairs. During my invest investigation, I have now discovered his mother's hair was on fire, and his parents is burnt off his damn leg. So he was right there when the fire started. And he got a six pack of goddamn PBR. So now I gotta figure out how the hell he stopped that damn fire. I ain't no damn joke. This is Rody Young reporting live for Waving News 10. I'm on the scene. Everybody is really mad at me. I don't know why. This guy right here, he just looked at me and rolled his eyes. This is Rhoda Young. I saw the case before anybody was on the scene. All right, that video blew you up. So you, up. You, you went to Hollywood off that video. Yeah. Was it monetized? You know, we always want to get yeah, in the pocket. Yeah, was know, it monetized at 5 million views? Yeah. Did you get money off of it? Somebody got money off of it. I didn't because I didn't know nothing about Facebook. And let me tell you, look, I did a, a video of Beyonce's song. Um, 7 Eleven. Uh -huh. I think it was just a joke video, but I did it and it flipped it backwards and, and made it seem like it was an Illuminati video. Right. And they got millions of views and then they send me a letter it's like, sorry, you're not getting any money for this because this is Beyonce. Wow. <laughs> so wow. I, I imagine you got to keep yours from the, the views that you achieved. No, I didn't because Did I was not monetized yet. You got to oh. understand, you got to be monetized. You have, a, have the business page with Facebook to get paid. You need a personal page and also a business page to connect to get monetization. So that's very important. Listen to us, say it one more time for me. All right, you need a personal page and also a business page to connect with one another, to get monetized from Facebook. And then you have to have a certain amount of views and your videos must be at least three minutes long. Then you can get paid. Okay, so what's your background, Rhoda? What Did you go to school to be a journalism or did you do you just have a passion for for for, for getting in, in the mix? I call it favor. You call it favor? Yeah, it's called okay. favor. It's favor for God. Um, I didn't sign up for this. I ain't have no idea I was going to get into this. I ain't asked for it. I ain't want no parts of it. But when God put favor of your life, he sit things in your lap. And it's up to you to do what you can do for what God bless you with. And this is my favor from God. Good. And then as far as your 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 preferred platform, do they find you mostly on Instagram, Facebook? Or what's your preferred um, platform for your podcast? I love or for Facebook. Your, okay. I love okay. Facebook. So tell our viewers how they could get in contact with you and how they could become one of your many followers. How many followers do you do you think you have right off the top? Right now, I have a quarter of a million followers on one page, which is more than that, but they start counting. Yes, She's yes. yes. <laughs> that's on one page, but they start counting because my page got restricted. So that stuff don't matter to me. I found out I have love for what I do. You know what I'm saying? I was making so much money. I was making $20,000 a month from Facebook, $10,000 a month from Facebook, and I share. See, sharing, they say it's caring, but you got to be careful who you share your blessings with. Because mm -hmm. everybody don't want to see you do that. Yeah, right. And once I share with Facebook how to become, you know, really rich on Facebook or financially strapped, the same people I call myself helping turned around and got my page restricted. I went through a 
Oh wow, yeah. yeah. Going through a stage like Yeah, I would go through a stage yeah, it would I'm be like, called a hunting stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm hunting like, everybody down to be I that depressed. Oh, I need a therapist or something. I really got depressed because you know, um they took from me when I was trying to give to them. I didn't yeah. have to tell the secret. It's it's been out here for years. Everybody everybody don't know the secret. But some people out here that know the ingredients and I get ingredients to make the cake. And by sharing with the people out there, they turned around and got my page restricted and I lost my monetization from them. So um, I went through a stage of depression, um, anxiety, but what God said was, you don't do it for the money, you do it for the love. And so I just bounced back just like that. And it don't matter if I get paid or not because I got favor. Just sitting here with you is favor. Mm -hmm. How many people would like to be on side four exactly. on your platform right now? Exactly. But God chose me. Right. Didn't like me and you are. Just favor. Mm -hmm. So money came back every day. Yeah. It's good to have, but you know, it came back everything. Yeah, I if you do something that you love, like you say, if you do something that you love, money becomes irrelevant. Right. It come money come and go. That's what it's for. It's right. for to come and for you to spend again. Right. But if you're doing something that you love, the process of making money is just irrelevant. It's irrelevant. You live happier, right. you're more content with everything. But still we want to get you back to a monetization point so you can tell the viewers uh, how to find your line, get your views back up where you need to be at. Well, um, you can follow me on Facebook. Um, my name is Rhoda, that's R-H-O-D-A, Young Live. Um, but you're going to be up there, Rhoda Young Reporting Live, L-I-V-E. And be careful, guys. You know, people can be copycatters. There's a page out there. Someone just started up and it got Rhoda Young Reporting Live, but they're using two T's. Mine's only got one T. So it's Rhoda Young Reporting Live on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and also Twitter. Okay, we got to get you a blue check, Rhoda. Yeah. So they can know it's official. Right. Yes, it is. All right, it's Tony Brown, BME Presents. Y'all go check out this rodeo, and we'll be back after this. Yeah, cheer. Hi, I'm Stephanie Morales, Commonwealth Attorney for the City of Portsmouth, and I want to share that on November 3rd, I'll be casting my vote for my dear friend Paul Battle for mayor. Mr. Battle is someone who has cared very deeply and worked very hard for the members of our community for so many years and has thought very, very deeply about how the members of our community can not just live but thrive. And so I want to share my support for my friend Paul Battle for mayor for the city of Portsmouth on November 3rd, 2020. <laughs> I'm going to see you take this money. What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Bill B. Presents. This is your man, Tony Brown. I'm here with my man, B.U. What's good, baby? Right. B.U., he brought his whole crew through here today. But today is all about him. Let us know what you are, what you're doing, B.U., what you got going on, baby. B.U., all right. C or HMA, y'all know what it is, man. Brought my fam with me, you know, my, got my nephew Chris with me. You know what I'm saying? Got my big bull turd, got my little hitter, X, and got my label consultant, O. Oh. Mm. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. So, what you got going on, man? I heard big things popping from you in the hood, man. What's, what's good with you? Yeah, man. I, um, no, I just got a, I just signed a label distribution deal with Orchard Sony. Shout out to Orchard Sony, man. And my man Boogie G. At Cavalaway Management, you know what I'm saying? Who we'll helped orchestrate the whole deal. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, Boogie G, Cavalaway. How, how you come across with Boogie G? You knew him from the back in the day? Or yeah, we grew up on the bottom. You know, all this from, we from, we from the Port of VA. We grew up on out of bottom. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, and again, shout out to all my, bar, my, my out of barbarians, man. And they took my hood down. I mean, they took your hood down? Yeah. But they put some good there, though. They put some good there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, but they took the hood down, but it, it's still in us. That's mm. what it is. So what you got going on, man? What's, the, what's your new project with Sony? How did it come, oh, um, come about? Yeah, like I was saying um, earlier, the, um, my man Bully G, he had orchestrated. He told me that, you know, he, he down there, he got, a, he got a management deal with Orchard Sony, and he told me to send some, some music. And, you know, I came home. We already was putting it together before I came home. So I sent them four tracks, and, and he let, the, let them hear it, and they was, they was intrigued. That's what's up. Who who were the producers that um that made the tracks that you sent them? Uh, uh, produced by Homie and Inferno. They collaborated on this on the single that's been that that's recently got released. Visa and uh my man Beat Man. He did a lot of tracks to the album. That's they're gonna be on soon. But this song here, um, Gang Gang USA. Me and him, we collabed on that and put that one together. Okay, Gang Gang USA. It, that's it, what we're going to right? yeah, throw, throw it up. Yeah, throw it up. Gang Gang USA. All right, that's what it is. It's BME Presents, your man Tony Brown, BU, and what's HMA real quick, BU? Hit him up with the HMA. Oh, there it is, Gang Gang. We'll be back after this. Sir,
my lords at? Where my bloods and my motherfucking cribs? Give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something, I ain't in no game, but I'm all chill banging. And my hood ain't no place to be hanging. See, don't boy violin your peeps, don't just stand there. Cause when I respond, it won't be the fan mail. What they gon' do, huh? Place me in jail. I'm from the port of VA, my upbringing was hell. I do more than just rob and sell dope. See, or hate you, mate. I'm giving the hood hope. Whoop, whoop, papers ruin this But yeah, you see me dripping But I'm sipping with my uh brothers Nina on the hip, fully loaded with some extra Plus I got the Caltech stuff in that Louis Duffel I'm from round the town, where them gangsters hang around Flipping just to make it double, 50 plus will make it bubble Big gang shit, now my just throw something up Banging for a reason, let me see you put them fingers up my G's at? Where my lords at? Where my bloods and my nigga for all my cribs? Give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up. Two fingers and a thumb with that Draco in your face, loaded up, don't act dumb. See round hill, Crips live by the gun. If you ain't from round hill, you like a steak, well done. Yeah, cause it's a jungle where I live. If you ain't trained to go, you gon' star where I live. Matter of fact, your ass might get killed. Tied up in duct tape and shipped off from round hill. Throwing up that VL, riding in that CL. That nigga don't bang, he ain't gang, he on a DL. Sifting with that B12, on a B12. Big ass gun, long clip, bullets like seashells. Put you in the cloud, email, R in front of VL. Blowing on that gas, throttle hard like a V12. You Ain't hard, you frauds. All in your feelings like broad. Signing out, Almighty Shaw. Where my G's at? Where my lords at? Where my bloods and my motherfucking cribs? Give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. And give me something to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. Quick, one more time, real quick. Give them the social media drop and let and y'all go support, man. Go support. Don't just stream shit. Download it, buy it. it. Ain't no, it ain't gonna kill you. Buy the song, download it. Right. Show where you get it from, man. Of course, man. Hey, you are screaming on all platforms again. Every platform, it doesn't matter. But y'all can follow me on Instagram at, at b dot u underscore fifteen twenty four hma. All right. It is. It's Tony Brown. BME presents B U and HMA. We'll be back after this. Hi, this is Kenny Wright, former mayor of the city of Portsmouth. I can't tell you what an honor and pleasure it is for me to come to you and ask you to support my friend Paul Battle for mayor of the city of Portsmouth on November 3rd, 2020. Paul is a man of great integrity. Paul understands Portsmouth. Paul understands Portsmouth politics. But more importantly, Paul understands what it's going to take to bring us all together. Paul understands that we need a course correction in Portsmouth. We've got to right this ship for the future. Our kids depend on it. Our, our, our neighborhoods depend on it. So I'm urging all of you to join me in voting for Paul Battle on November the 3rd, 2020. That's right. I'm picking Paul. Paul, go get him. God bless each and every one of you. Be safe during this pandemic. And we'll see each other on the other side. Hey, welcome back to BME Presents. It's your man, Tony Brown. I'm here with another independent journalist from the Onyx Effects. I have Miss Onyx Hicks. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. She's also another Sky 4 program that comes on, right? Yes, I am. So what, what's your, your program platform? Um, it's the Onyx Effects, and it comes on Sky 4 every Sunday morning, Monday morning at 1 a.m., and we want to tell people stories from their perspective, give you an opportunity to get your story and your information out there. Okay, great. So how, how long have you been been with the Sky 4 family? 
I have um, been on only been with this guy for family for about two months. Okay, great. So welcome. Thank and you're you. gonna find out it's gonna be an experience being an independent television program. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the, just enjoy the ride. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's it's good being recognized from your efforts in public, and it's good being um it's good being able to have a platform where you can serve the service and serve the community. Absolutely. So, so what's your show about? What's the Onyx Effect about? So the Onyx Effect is a show um, I came up with where we want to tell everyone's story from their perspective. It's something that I find that doesn't happen enough. You don't get to, um, you get interviewed, but it's not the way you want it. You don't get to get your points across. So we want to make sure that we give everyone a platform right. from a um, unbiased opinion because a lot of times people will give an interview from a biased perspective. So right. we remain neutral. And just let everyone tell their story. See, that's and something the I got. That's opinion. something I told y'all said that I have yeah. to work on as a journalist. Yeah. Being unbiased. I could be unbiased when it's certain things, but right. like, you know, it's hard to be unbiased when you're reporting against the person that pays you. Right. And and, and for me, I don't have any political ties in right. that manner where no one's no. I like I'm on not on anyone's payroll um, for anything, not mm -hmm. even my activism. So all of that is very independent. So it allows me to move independently. And speaking of your activism, you are the vice president of the of the. Portsmouth chapter of NAACP? Yes, I'm a vice president of the Portsmouth chapter of NAACP. That's so cool. How long have you been doing that? Um, this will be um, a little over a year. Okay. So it'll be going into two years. Okay, great, yeah. great. What do you, do you find interesting or challenging about that? Well, what I find challenging is that sometimes getting the community involved um, with issues that they bring to us. Mm -hmm. What I find interesting and what I love about it is getting work done and being on the boots on the ground is where uh, grassroots are the best roots is what I always say. We get a lot of things done. Uh, one of the challenges is people not knowing how active we are when they don't see us in front of the camera, mm -hmm. that we're always working behind the scenes. We're working on social justice issues, environmental um, justice issues, um, policing issues. So we're always working on those things, the unsung, the things that affect our daily lives that most people don't know about. Yeah, a lot of times it's just sitting back strategizing. It's not always public posturing. Sometimes right. Sometimes it's just sitting back A lot of times it's meeting with police chiefs, it's um, city officials, there's things that people don't know that we're doing, and then you'll see a change happen. But because we're not always trying to put it out, because we're not doing it for notoriety or celebrity or anything like that. We're doing it because it's a need. Okay. And where are you from? Where are you from originally? Oh, I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. I grew up in London Oaks. Okay. Shout yeah. out to the Oaks. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Oaks. Yeah, listen. Now, the London Oaks you grew up in is a very different from the London Oaks now. Yes. You didn't grow up in the London Oaks with the gates around the whole complex. No, so. I did not. But right. it is something that as an NAACP VP and part of the NAACP team that we fought very hard against. Okay. Because it almost gives an uh, incarcerated type atmosphere where you're on a yard. It <laughs> doesn't yard. almost give it that type of atmosphere. It absolutely gives it that type of atmosphere. And if you go out to the playground, it looks like a prison wreck yard. Right. And so it's the mental um, conditioning. conditioning that they're giving to our people in that particular scenario. And then you treat somebody like a caged animal. What do you think that they're going to act like? You take away, like we had a pool, we had playgrounds, we had basketball courts, yeah. we had community centers. We had a sense of community, and if you continue to strip that away from people and don't give them an outlet, what do you expect to happen? Yeah, it's it's, it's odd because we did used to have basketball courts mm -hmm. out there. We we even had basketball courts at City Park one time. Yeah. There's no basketball courts out there. Yeah. Tennis and golf. <laughs> but <laughs> right. guess what? I played tennis and golf too. Yeah, right, so, right. But at least if they had they had somewhere to go, the pool is filled in with cement. Where do they do that at? They don't do right. that in any other areas but where people of color reside. Right. And people without the economic ability to have um, to fight back and have a voice or might not know how to fight back. And that is one of the most frustrating things, educating the community and then fighting for the community while trying to educate them at the same time and bring awareness to people that don't understand what it's like to grow up in that. Even though we weren't that type of, it wasn't the same London Oaks, I still felt like I was one of the forgotten. Mm -hmm. But I had people that spoke into my life and which why I was able to make a change and just why I want to give back. Good. We, we appreciate you giving back. And I know you got a book coming out. Why don't you tell us a little bit yes, about I that? Yes, I do. So I have, uh, my first book is called Self Love Club, Party okay. of One. It is a journal. I love the title. Let Thank me, you. Let me Thank you. The Self Love Club, Party of One. I love the title. Because Thank you. I go out to eat by myself, go out to dinner by myself. And people are like, right. Myself treat myself good. You <laughs> so, have to do that because yeah. you can get to that point when you love yourself to do that. So it's a journal. And in the journal... I came up with my own quotes and I explain each quote so that there is a guide when you go through there um, to help you write it out. And it's an introduction to another book that I have coming out. But you have to start with self-love and no one teaches us that, especially in our community. No one teaches us how to love ourselves. We are always giving outwardly and we're never reflecting back in on us. Yeah, cool. So where can people find the book? Has it been released yet? Is it, it published? Is, Do you have a release date set? It is available for pre-order. It will be released officially on... Um, 
in November, but as of right now, you can pre-order it from any of my social media platforms. Um, I am Onyx1 on Facebook. I am Onyx on um, Instagram and on TikTok. If you want to see the funnier side of me, I'm on TikTok where I joke a little more and make funny videos. Okay, I do want to show our viewers a clip of your show, The Onyx Effects. If you don't mind me, let's go to a little bit of The Onyx Effect. Absolutely. On BME Presents. Hello everybody, it's your girl, I am Onyx, and you are watching The Onyx Effect. Today I have with me none other than Barry Randall, the people's pastor, and we are going to talk about everything under the sun. Barry, is there anything off limits? There is nothing off limits. See, so I'm going to tell you guys, it's going to get really real, um, and we all know that Barry is infamous, but I believe in a good way. Um, the things that I've seen Barry do have been wonderful, but we do live in a very small city, and everyone thinks that they know your business. So we're not going to waste time into getting into to anything um, but I do want to give Barry just a very brief moment to just introduce himself and give you a little bit about his own background and then we're gonna just go right ahead and get into the conversation all right thank you thank you I enjoyed that very much and thank you for coming to our show program thank you for it was a pleasure me. meeting your very lovely lady Absolutely. tell our viewers how they could get in contact with you how they could follow you and you know. my main two platforms are TikTok and Instagram so I am I am onyx on both of those um, I A M O N Y X. If you want to see me make jokes, follow me on TikTok. And Instagram is a little bit about everything that I do. So, yeah, check me out on those. Okay, great. This is Tony Brown with Onyx Hicks, uh, the Onyx Effects on Sky 4. What, what time again? 1 a.m. on Sunday and Monday night. Tomorrow night. Tune in about the same time. You're up anyway. You're yeah, up anyway. Might as well. Why not? <laughs> it's BME Presents. We'll be back after this. Thank you. There's a candidate running for the office of mayor who's a pick above the rest. This candidate has done more for the city of Portsmouth as a private citizen than most elected officials. This candidate is surely a pick above the rest. If elected as mayor, this candidate will battle to increase economic development, battle to fully support funding of our educational system, seeking full accreditation for all schools, battle to improve the city's health and safety department, ensuring safer neighborhoods, and battle to improve the overall quality of life for all citizens of Portsmouth by establishing recreational programs for youth and seniors. This candidate is Paul J. Battle. On November 3rd, pick the best candidate for the job. Pick Paul. Paul J. Battle for mayor. I'm picking Paul. 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 I'm picking Mr. Paul Battle. I hope everyone else will also. Authorized and paid for by Paul J. Battle for mayor. All right, that does it for tonight's episode of BME Presents. We'd like to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. As always, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And each of the independent artists and journalists that we had on the show tonight, make sure you follow them, too, and support them. Go show them some love. As always, we'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching. Eleven season strong, baby. Can't go wrong with BME Presents. We out. <laughs>